There is frontotemporal dementia in Wendy Williams, FTD, what is it? Wendy Williams's caregivers released a statement on Thursday stating that Wendy Williams has been diagnosed with a type of dementia. The 59-year-old former talk show host received a diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia and primary progressive aphasia last year after undergoing a battery of medical tests, the statement said. A look at the illness, which also affects Bruce Willis, the actor. A rare condition known as frontotemporal dementia, or FTD, damages the brain regions responsible for language and behavior. As the illness worsens, these brain regions shrink. People with FTD typically have symptoms in their 40 seconds, 50 seconds, and early 60 seconds. It may have an impact on a person's personality, leading to inappropriate behavior or a loss of inhibition. It can take years to diagnose and is occasionally confused for bipolar disorder or depression. Brenda Rapp, a cognitive scientist at Johns Hopkins University, said, I have to tell you, it's a really tough diagnosis. Perhaps you're doing things that annoy people, but you're not really sure why they bother them. For all parties concerned, that can be frustrating, according to Rapp. Primary progressive aphasia, or language impairment, is a common complication of the illness. This kind of FTD can make it difficult for a person to find words or comprehend what is being said.